Hi, I'm Derek Cohen. I'm a partner in Goodwin Proctor's New York office in the Securities Litigation and White Collar Group. Before coming to Goodwin, I spent the last uh, nine years at the Justice Department, and my last job was as Deputy Director of the Deepwater Horizon Task Force, where I oversaw all the attorneys and uh, agents in the criminal investigation of the BP oil spill. Really, one of the strengths of Goodwin Proctor and what sort of drew, drew me here out of the government was the reputation of, of high stakes sort of representations and trials. On the one hand, I can say, well, I, I had negotiated and played a large role in the largest criminal resolution in U.S. history. That sounds pretty good on paper, but I think probably for me, doing some of the tougher cases that people don't know about, having started off as a DA, I've done street crime, I was an associate at big firms, I've been in AUSA, so I'm not faking my way through it. That if somebody has an issue, I can actually help them. So when did I decide to be a lawyer was probably about the time uh, the curveball uh, started to, to hit me in high school and, and my days of being, playing shortstop for the Mets were not going to happen. I have a, admittedly a fairly narrow interest in the law. I like the litigation part of it. I like the cops and robbers part of it. Uh, I've spent most of my career as a prosecutor and it kind of bounced back and forth. I enjoy the, the same reason that I think people like cop shows. I enjoy that part of the, of the practice. When the government is coming after somebody, you feel very much out of control. And so the most important thing you can do as a white collar criminal defense lawyer is to make sure you're helping to try to level the playing field a little bit and at least let somebody feel like even if here are your options, here are how we're going to play this and to feel like there's some control and some confidence. When you deal with something as large as the Deepwater Horizon incident where it sort of spans not just a normal criminal investigation but also there's political implications, there are uh, tremendous uh, pressures coming from all different sorts of quarters, from the federal government, state governments, people have been af widely affected, and you're up against a very sophisticated company that is well financed, probably more financed than, than your government budget. It was a tremendous learning experience. I had come into this with the largest environmental disaster in U.S. history, having exactly zero environmental experience. Coming away and learning how to marshal all the sort of resources that one needs to do in, in something, an investigation of that magnitude. And had to not only learn the subject matter, but also to make sure that you do all the sort of other things that go along in an investigation. So for me personally, it gave me the confidence to be able to say at this point in my career, uh, it would be hard pressed for a client to come and, and with a case that I felt, well, it's too big for me to handle. One of the things I like about my job is, is that it can be really unpredictable. Sometimes somebody, uh, they don't plan on getting arrested. So you know, I'll get a call, like I got a call this weekend to come get uh, a movie star out of jail on Saturday night. That's not it's something you can plan for, but it, it keeps the job interesting.